content. Sorry, we we found some fresh batteries, and you can thank my brother for that one. He's a great YouTuber. Leave him a comment or a like for my brother Darren, who's helping record all this stuff, and be very patient with me while my cat's attacking the bag. But anyways, we we got some fresh batteries in it, and it lights up. And I I, I had to show this off. So the second CD-ROM doesn't work, but this one does. Look. You could see the Jurassic Park logo at every leaf. That's so cool. Ah, that makes me happy. And look, the brake lights light up on it. And the one headlight that's actually still there lights up and the turn signals. So how does it look upside down? Can you even see the CD-ROM when it's up there? <clears throat> it's hard to describe how heavy all this is, which is good because heavy is expensive. Oh, that is amazing. I want to get some lithium batteries or some kind of like really powerful batteries and just leave the lights on all the time. All right, you gotta tell me, does the CD-ROM light up or is it visible? Kind of. I'm not sure why they had that part light up. Can you see pretty good? No. So that's why the second one doesn't light up, is because you can't actually see it. So let's not turn your lights off, what happens? <laughs> Guys, I can't tell you how happy I am right now. This is amazing. Uh, Alright. Really sorry about that, guys. I just, I'm geeking out a little bit. So I, I had to, to show this off. That is awesome. Like, <laughs> this is, this is what I, I imagine when I pre ordered this set like two and a half years ago. It's just this experience, like, just the joy that I'm getting. Ah, uh, I love it. Good job, Iron. Good job, Iron Studios. I just kind of wish that set B had been in better shape, but hopefully we'll get that ironed out. But I mean, worst case scenario, I still get to keep this bad boy, and it's good. Like even if I don't even have the T Rex, it's just it's O four Explorer. This right here, this very Explorer, the number four. This is why I'm a car guy. This is what got me into collecting. I mean and just being a, a, a car nut. Because <clears throat> I mean, of course when the movie came out, I had to get the toys and I had these explorers. And 04, it's just, it's been with me since 93, so here I am. And I have a one tenth scale explorer. This is amazing. You know, there is a problem with this because this is kind of lying that fire to make me actually build a real one now. Like I, I really want a real one, but until I get like some really high paying job or something, that's not gonna happen. But you know what? I'll be content with this because this is phenomenal. I'd love this. And the brake lights, look how bright those are. Can you see my, hey, can you see that? That's ridiculous. That's some really bright LEDs in there. At least I hope it's LED so it lasts a long time because I will be keeping these lights on a lot. And I saw in another video where someone was able to come up here to turn it off. Yep, it's right there. Should I put the kids in? Nah, we'll save that for the fifth video. I've taken up a lot of you guys' time. I thank you for your patience through these videos. I'm guessing once this one's done and edited, we're probably going to have almost an hour of content for you. But hey, it's almost like a TV show, right? Right? I mean, you can go watch an episode of Lost, or you can watch an episode of watching this unfold. Which, I'd rather watch this, honestly. 
Watching the Jurassic Park Explorers is nothing better. Come on. <laughs> so, I'm gonna stop this video. I'm gonna go geek out. I'm probably doing all the brainery stuff and editing this video together. But anyways, guys, as always, happy hunting. <laughs> I will add that to the video. All the people are going to wonder what the free food in the background is. He's constantly doing that. <laughs>